Hi there, welcome to today's tutorial. What we're going to go through today is acquiring a study in PSG Online and we're going to then go into Nexus 360 via the web browser interface and we're going to open that study in Profusion PSG whilst it's actually acquiring. Okay, so we've got our Nexus 360 instance here in our URL uh, web browser and this is just a login page but first what we're going to do is actually set up Profusion PSG Online to record some data. So we will go into the acquisition machine, the Nexus 360 control center here. And we'll select new study. We'll select the device that we're going to record to and you'll see that it'll list up some prepared studies. I'm just going to select create from down here on the bottom right and it will give me the choice of which program I'm actually going to record the data with. Um, today we're looking at Profusion PSG. So we'll open PSG online to record a sleep study and we'll give us this new study dialog page. So you can create a new patient from here or use one that's already in the Nexus 360 database. So I'm just gonna search. And I've got a patient in the database already called Joan Smith who I'm going to search for here. I've actually got two records. I'm just going to choose the one that I want. Now you need to choose the correct service type and site. So it's going to be a sleep study and I've got a site within my Nexus 360 instance called on-site demo server. I've got my configuration file that I'm using, the trace layout, and we're recording video here. So just select OK. Now I don't actually have any patient hooked up or anything, so the data is all noise. Uh, and you will hear the oximeter warning, basically because the oximeter is not connected. But, so I'll keep that oximeter there so that you know it's recording live. Oximeter probe on. We also have live video here. Oximeter probe on. And just so that you know, we're recording. I'll flick my fingers in front of the video. So now you should see some movement in the video and you'll also hear the oximeter warning there. Okay, I'm going to turn that oximeter warning off now. And now I'm actually gonna start recording. So PSG Online has now started recording on the acquisition machine. It's important to remember that it's recording it to a local copy on your case on the acquisition machine or wherever you choose it to put that local copy. And at the same time, it's actually pushing it to our cloud server in the instance that I have a cloud server here set up, or you could have an on-premise server. So the way to look at that is if we basically go back to our control center, so we'll just minimize PSG Online, and we'll go to the summary data. So now we can see here that we've got this Joan Smith and it's doing a recording and it will upload. Now, in very simple terms, it uploads in a batch process. Okay, so once it gets to a certain amount of size, it will then upload. So you might see this sitting on zero just for a little while. What we'll do whilst we're waiting to have this information here updated, We'll log into the web browser. So I could be on a remote machine here, or I could be within the same network as it's being acquired on. I'm gonna type in my username and password. Now I'm just logging in here with administrative privileges. Okay, so you won't have all the privileges that I've got. It'll be dependent on what your lab manager sets up, but I've just got everything here for the purpose of today's demo. When I log in, I've got two-factor authentication enabled on this server. So I have to enter a two-factor authentication code that has been sent to my mobile device just as an added security. Okay, so it's a six-digit code. And we'll log in. So now if I go to my studies page, my studies tab, 
and you want to make sure that the service type and the site is correct in terms of what you set up for the acquisition. So I've got filters here to make sure that it's all set up accordingly. But we've got Jane Smith here. So this filter and the first name. I've then got a filter to just show the on-site demo service. So here it is. And you can see here that this is now recording. So if I was remote, I could log in to the Nexus 360 page and I would see that this data is actually being recorded. If we go back to the Nexus 360 control center, so now that we can see here that we've uploaded 258 kilobytes. So what I'll do is leave this recording just for a little bit so we get a little bit more data there. Okay, I'm gonna let it record for about five minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll look once again at our studies list and we'll go in and we'll open it in PSG online. Okay, so just bear with me. Thank you. Okay, so now we've let a little bit of time pass. We'll show once again some hand movement in the video. So we're still acquiring here. And if we go back to our control center, now we'll see that after recording for a little bit of time, about seven minutes, uh, we've uploaded 11 megabytes here and we're still recording. So we can see in our control center that the acquisition is still going on. Now, if I go back into the Nexus 360 interface and I have my study list here, we can see once again, this is our recording for Jane Smith with the sleep service type, currently recording to the on-site demo server. So now what we wanna do is whilst it's recording is open the data in Profusion PSG. So the way this works is if I'm off-site, somebody says, hey, we saw some events being recorded. Can you log on, have a look? This will give you the ability to do that. Okay. It will not allow you to be streaming and looking at the new acquisition live. What it will do at the moment is open it up in a point in time. So you'll see the data open up in Profusion and you'll be able to backtrack for everything recorded up until the point of time that you opened it. And there will be some bit of data missing. It depends on, on where it's transitioned in terms of syncing with the cloud server. So here to open it in Profusion, what we do is on the left-hand side, click on the Profusion icon. It will open up at the start of the recording. And here what we can see is we've opened up the start of the data file. So we've got Epoch 1 here. And I'm just going to page through so that you can see the data and I'll page right through to the end. Okay, so this is the last epoch, epoch number 23, uh, in terms of the data is actually still acquiring, but here we are being able to view it in Profusion PSG online whilst it's still acquiring. So I'll just close this down, and I'm going to log out of Nexus 360 now. Now I'm going to go back into PSG online, and I'm going to just stop the recording. Going back into the Nexus 360 control center, now that I've stopped the recording, what we'll be doing here is uploading the remainder of the study. So we'll just wait for that to finish up. Might take a little, about a minute or so. Okay, so now we can see after we stop recording in PSG online that in the Nexus 360 control center, the full study has been uploaded and it's 23 megabytes in file size with the status of available. So if we log back into Nexus 360 via the web browser, And if we go to our studies tab, so now we can see here's our study. Now if we scroll across the status column, we can see it's now available. So it's been fully uploaded, matching the status in the Nexus 360 control center. 
Now that everything has been pushed up to the server and it's in the status of available, we could go into Profusion PSG and go through and review all the data, all the video through the web browser and score if we need to. All right, thanks for your time.